Yo, what is up, internet, world wide web, my old subs, my new subs, my future subs. It is your host with the most, Paul Cantu, looking like a motherfucking tropical flight attendant or hotel worker with another episode of Sneaker Steals. So essentially in this vid, I have two really dope ass pairs of kicks that I actually got in the ultimate trade of a lifetime. So I broke some motherfucking naval blockades, some trade embargoes, and I worked out this beautiful ass magnificent trade. So without further ado, I'm going to show you guys the blessed rewards that I reaped in this trade and just show you guys how I race shop once again and how I come through finding dope ass, cheap ass kicks. Bitch. So without further ado, we're gonna get into the first pair of shoes right now, and they are drum roll, please, JK. Let's go on our motherfucker like priestess shit. So as you guys can see, the first pair of shoes that I actually got an ultimate trade with my boy Armati are these LeBron Nine Lows in the straight up Honit colorway. As you guys can see, the shoe has this nice coating ass silk interior sock lining right there. The LeBron Sig on deck. It got the little honet on the back. You got some straight up like ran over codeine coral snakes right there. Got hit by 18 wheeler and shit. And oh my dear God, these have some straight up like encrusted ass like pubes all up in this like dookie stainage that's all up in the treads. You also got some like dookie stainage right there on the toe cap, but I ain't really tripping because overall these are some really sick shoes. I mean, some of the mesh is a little bit dirty as well, but your boy ain't mad. You know why? Because I have another exact same pair of these coming in the mail. Why? Because I'm a dumbass. So essentially, before I worked out this ultimate trade, I placed a bid on eBay. I was the first bidder. I put like 50 bucks on a pair of these. And no one else outbid me, so now I have two pairs. So if you guys want this pair, it actually is size 11 and a half. Hit me up, it barely fits me, and I'm a size 12, so if you guys want this, I will get rid of these. And yeah, man, just really glad to have them in the collection. If I do not move these or trade these, then shit, two pair, what up though, fuck with me. So the next pair of shoes that I got is actually a pair I've been looking for for a while, and they also are some church hymn motherfucker reigning in the angelic voices of the angel shoes. <laughs> They are the Air Jordan 1, I think Alpha Whites from 2009. I'm pretty sure that's the name. But as you guys can see, they're in like an OG ass colorway. So these look like some straight up like OG J's from afar, like Jordan 1's. But they knew. So they're from 2009. They have the Jumpman insignia right there going through a little hoop and shit. It says since 85. And uh, it has the little Air Jordan guy right there on the tongue. Old school Jordan logo, of course, that's found on all the ones. But these things are really sick. I mean, I'm not really a fan of all the little, like, perforated holes on the inside. Like, what the fuck? Like, what's the point of that? Like, is it, like, extra breathability? Is it for guys with, like, needle dicks who need to shoot a fuck? I don't even know. But, yeah, it has this dope-ass, like, prism interior sock lining going on right there. Nice-ass details. The bottom of the shoe is actually clean. There are no pubes on this one. So, I guess I lost out on that because your boy always needs more straight pubes in his life. You feel me? So, yeah, thank you, Michael Jordan. You are an amazing-ass motherfucker. And I'm really glad you came into existence so I could have these shoes. And as if that wasn't enough, the last item that homeboy I actually threw in in this ultimate trade was in my opinion one of the best items all together and it is boom this Orlando Magic logo athletic splash jacket right here you got the white the blue straight up 90s like vintage ass dope shit ass splash ass motherfucker paintbrush mark ass blanket jacket damn it fuck but ain't nobody tripping because overall this is a really sick jacket. You have the NBA insignia right there all embroidered in. Thread count out the ass and logo athletic on the sleeve. Overall, I'm really happy with this vintage pickup. It is sick. It is size large. It is not for trade. I'm keeping this in the collection for real though. So once again, shout out to my boy for hooking it up with this jacket. But essentially, this wraps up this whole video in its entirety. Once again, a straight monetary fund spent. I actually traded my Black Hat 3s for these. Three snapbacks that cost me $7 and a Ben Gordon jersey for the jacket. So essentially, all together in terms of money spent, I spent like 25 bucks on all the items and then $20 on shipping. So straight up, coming, at, coming through for 45 bucks on both of these shoes and the jacket, I am not mad at all. So once again, shout out to my boy Armasi. Follow him on Instagram. Link will be down below. But yeah, it's your host with the most, Paul Cantu, signed out saying peace and love. Been looking for some Air Jordan ones for a really long time again and some Aquaberry ass kicks to go with my Charlotte gear. So I'm really stoked and really happy. Once again, you guys don't have to spend a lot of money to find dope shoes. Check Instagram, check eBay, do your thing, guys. Um, I got a motherfucker flight to like be an attendant on. I got a resort to run and I got a beach house in Hawaii that I need to get to. I'll catch you guys next time. Once again, live the dream and eat ice cream. Peace.